Once again on a Halloween night, the Fuen's mystery machine was traveling through a forest of dead trees on a stormy night. Why? Well... And there! Alright, the camera's set up to go live once we get there. Remind me why we're doing this again? Because it's tradition for us to go out and do stuff like this now. Aren't you excited to see a real zombie up close, P.Y.? Nah, no, not really. I want to see a zombie, no. This isn't completely all for fun, because Vex refuses to pay for the renovations to the house. Of I've course you were that asshole. Yeah, I know. Dude, like, come on. I've Vex. had to take on a bunch of odd jobs to cover the costs. This just happens to be one of them, and it pays super well. Assuming that it isn't just a scam to get innocent people like us killed. Vex, who was driving, chimed in at the mention of his name. Hey, I use my money for more important things! Pizza and Oreos counts as important? Yes! I wouldn't be me anymore without those! I'd die! Probably. Anyway, I still don't really understand how fighting zombies gets us money. The way I understand it, we're really getting paid to capture evidence on film. But what I'm wondering is, what if we don't find anything when we get to where we're going? Don't worry about that. Since it's us doing this, it'll work out. It's almost like it has to happen that way. Like someone's writing this with no real sense of planning, yet with enough ideas to make an actual story. It was at this moment that the van stopped. The group had reached their destination, an old abandoned town that served as a local scary spot for many. Apparently the place was considered cursed, which is why most of the buildings were still intact. Entire demolition crews went missing here in the past. <coughs> Alright guys, camera's rolling. Hey everyone out there! I was gonna stream Dead Space tonight, but instead my friends and I are going to die horribly! Devin, you can't say that! If we die, Twitch will delete the recording! I don't know if they'll even watch it, honestly. We did set the Just Chatting tag for the stream. Of course! I know what I'm doing, Angel! I've been streaming for how long? Oh yeah, good point. We walk through the abandoned town, checking each building as a group. Maybe we didn't find them faster if we split up and search for clues? You can go search somewhere else if you want, David. Just know that if you get eaten or attacked, you brought this on yourself. Wait, what's that over there? Angel pointed to what seemed to be a rundown apartment complex. Strangely enough, a light was on in one of the units. Well, that's totally suspicious. Come on, let's check it out. We made our way through the super dusty building, until we found the unit we were looking for. The door was open just a bit. We nodded to each other, and then Vex kicked the door open. Actually, he kicked it so hard it threw off its rotten hinges and threw the window on the opposite side. Ignoring the flexing from Vex, I looked around the room through the camera. The first thing I noticed was that the room seemed much cleaner than the rest of the building. With that, and the fact that there were working lights in this room, it meant that someone had been here recently. Maybe they were still here, even. Meanwhile, P.Y. had picked up a piece of paper from the nearby desk. Alright, let me get my reading glasses here. Okay. Greetings, guilt friends! Make yourselves at home. I've been waiting for you, but something has come up, and I can't be there right now. Still, I hope you enjoy your fall season. Ha 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 ha. What do you think they mean by guilt? We're not adventurers. Not yet. Wrong Before universe. anyone could respond with anything, <laughs> the whole building began to shake. I think the fall season that the note mentioned might have been literal. We all fell through the floor yelling. Just as we thought this was the end for us, we landed on a mattress that had an X painted on it. It wasn't very comfortable, given that we all were groaning in pain. But... We weren't the only ones groaning. After we collected ourselves, it was very apparent that we were currently surrounded by zombies. And they were definitely moving toward us. Uh, looks like we found what we were looking for? I'm kind of surprised they look pretty much like undead people. I mean, I guess that's what zombies are supposed to be, but... Less talking! We're finding the way out! We ran to the closest open door we could find. It led into an office with no other exits. Still, there were no zombies in here, so we barricaded the door shut. Anyone got any ideas? Sure, I have plenty of them, but... None of them would help in this situation. Looks like I have to step up once again. Vex reached into his pocket and pulled out his phone to call in a favor. Malik? Devin? F*** you want? <laughs> Malik, you're going to die! 
so. You want me to do about it? Kill me! No. But I will send Ryan over. That should be fine. In fact, he should be there right about now. As if on cue, an explosion knocked the entire area. We scrambled to unbarricade the door, and when we checked the other room, there was someone standing in the middle of all the downed bodies of the zombies that previously threatened our lives. Oh my god, it's Master Chief? Hi, Ryan. <laughs> What's up, fuckers? Well, thanks to Ryan, I guess we can get out of here now. There's still one thing bugging me, though. Who left that note in the apartment? And why did they refer to us as a guild? You're right. That is concerning. I'll let you figure that one out. For now, let's all go home and play some Mario Party. With a cheer, the friends ended the live stream and did exactly that. Yeah.